You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Beerus, the god of destruction. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me, or else I'll hakai you from existence. Oh, and do make sure to watch the entire video all the way through. And to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. Whis, enough. On to the video. So with Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 79 now setting the stage for full power granola to battle against gas, as the entirety of the manga chapter now prepares to drop in English tomorrow, here today we have additional spoilers, leaks, and images in regards to the upcoming battle featuring gas and granola, which is without question going to showcase a bloodbath of a battle involving the two, and as we now prepare to make our way forward in finding out what's going to happen next involving the heaters, the million dollar question going forward is will granola be able to somehow stop gas by using his full power or will gas ultimately end up turning it around and having to defeat granola by using his full power as an extension as a quick little reminder before diving deeper into this video if of course you guys just so happen to be new to the channel and want to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the dragon ball super manga and the upcoming dragon ball super superhero movie then i do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video posted on the channel on top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see where the narrative is going to take us moving forward because as courtesy of the official Dragon Ball News website and both Herms98 and DBS Hype over on Twitter, the following Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 79 leaks, images, spoilers, and information goes as follows. Now, as of course you guys can see here on your screen, with the way Granola is now preparing himself and going up against Gas, it feels eerily similar to Super Saiyan God Goku versus Granola earlier on, in which if you pay close enough attention, the panel that showcases Granola is actually very similar to the exact fighting pose that Granola had when he fought Super Saiyan God Goku, but Gas, on the other hand, is actually shown wielding two shields instead of one. So, this is actually very interesting by comparison because as of course you guys can see here on your screen, Gas actually ends up trying to use these shields as a method of attack by striking Granola, but Granola ends up avoiding this attack by ducking under, and dare I say, in a very Clint Eastwood kind of style, Granola follows up by aiming his hand up and shoots gas directly. So, while in one hand you have a sniper going up against a weapon crafting warrior, what makes this dynamic so interesting is the fact that you have a sniper versus an individual that could literally spawn any kind of weapon that they just so choose to within an instant without even batting an eye. So, even though Granola Granola right now is at full power and having to go up against Gas. By no means is this going to be an easy fight for Granola because as of course you guys can see here on your screen, this shot here has to be one of my favorite shots because you can see that Granola is aiming to destroy this guy. You can see that Granola has all of the intentions in putting this guy down because remember, this battle is being labeled as the strongest versus the strongest, but even then Gas doesn't seem to be worried at all. Even though Granola's punch is literally inches away, what Gas ends up doing as a response is as of course you guys can see here, Gas ends up putting his hand in front of Granola's face and Granola looks to be shook even though he has the assistance of Oatmeal and he ultimately has the assistance of the Sensu Bean in recovering his power. What ends up happening is as of course you guys can see right here, this is absolutely insane and one of my other favorite shots from this manga chapter because one can only assume that after Gas had stuck his hand out in Granola's face and literally blasting him away that this should ultimately be it, right? There is no way that Granola should be able to survive this, especially through the proxy of Maki and Oil having to confirm that Gas is supposed to be even stronger than the so-called former strongest, we know that doesn't appear to be the case because Granola ends up surviving, but this just kind of goes as far as to show the level of impact and the effect that Gas is going to have in this fight against Granola, which ends up getting even more intense as the fight progresses because as of course you guys can see here, Gas ends up spawning this gigantic wrecking ball that he ends up smacking Granola down with, which one could 
can easily tell that this gigantic wrecking ball is not only heavy, but the way Gas simply goes about by spawning shields and swords and chains and knives and hooks, this actually goes on to further represent the level of danger that Gas does pose because at any given moment, Gas could simply end up creating a weapon that could get the better of Granola and that would simply write Granola off as being dead if this ends up progressing the way we all think it might because we know that by the end of the manga chapter, Granola does end up surviving, but Gas on the other hand ends up being tired and Gas on the other hand is the one that's kind of left scratching his head as to what to do next because Granola does seem to be the one that's countering and avoiding each and every single one of Gas's attacks, but as a means of an extension, what Gas ends up doing is he ends up exploding the gigantic wrecking ball above Granola, which ultimately is acting like that of a bomb that just simply went off as Gas went on to smile in seeing this, but as of course you guys can see in the next image ahead, with Gas using this ability and shooting out all of these knives and all of these little daggers at Granola, Granola is shown once again through the assistance of Oatmeal to smack all of these knives away as of course his hand is shown into that of a position where Granola is looking to blast Gas with everything he has, which mind you, throughout the entire duration of this battle, Granola is the one using his full power, whereas Gas is interestingly enough not using his full power. As a matter of fact, one could only make the assumption that as this continues to progress forward, Gas inevitably is going to end up discovering and using his full power as a means of stopping Granola, which we could end up seeing in the next manga chapter, Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 80 in January. There is no doubt that in my mind right now is Gas using his full power because he's not, and we get to see that through an extension by witnessing how Granola is actually being able to push Gas back, even though according to the wish itself, Gas is supposed to be without question the true so-called strongest, but how is that the case when Granola right now is using his full power in pushing back the new so-called strongest in Universe 7 who is technically supposed to be even stronger than the previous so-called strongest, which is that of Granola. To where even in the end, as of course you guys can see here, it would appear as though each and every single time Gas attempts to strike Granola, Granola seems to be using instant transmission off the gate which catches Gas off guard because Gas can't seem to believe that Granola is this fast, which solely does derive from Gas moving in a very irregular kind of way, whereas Granola is moving in very unpredictable ways through the assistance of Oatmeal and you can see that based on Gas's expression in not believing as to how fast Granola truly is. So this fight without question is a definite back and forth contest with one person using their full power, whereas the other is simply crafting weapons as an extension to get the better of his opponent without using their full power in this fight. So again, keep in mind, we are going to be covering the entirety of this manga chapter when it's translated on the channel tomorrow in English. So you guys don't want to miss out on all of the actions going to take place involving these two because one of these two warriors by the end of it will fall. But the question is, will it be Granola or will it be Gas? So again, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Thank you all so much for your time. If you guys are excited and cannot wait to see this go down, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video posted onto the channel, as well as giving this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see this go down. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your time. Tune back in for more. Take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace. And a quick little reminder before you exit the video, if you guys are unaware, follow me on my secondary channels, which are also used to discuss and talk about all kinds of different subjects and topics, including gaming and live streams, beginning with Unreal Network, which is a channel dedicated in discussing all kinds of movies, breakdowns, current events, scary stories, theories, and more. So if you are someone who is into the entertainment world, then that's the channel for you. So head on over and subscribe over on Unreal Network, which up next is Unreal Vlogs, where I bring you guys a little closer into my life in taking you behind the scenes with vlogging content, parody videos, reactions, motivational videos, uplifting videos, and more. So if you want to get to know me on more of a personal level, then that's the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button to always be in the loop with Unreal Vlogs. And lastly, my gaming channel, Unreal Royale, where on that channel we dive more into the world of gaming, ranging from all different kinds of video games, from Dragon Ball to Resident Evil to Grand Theft Auto, Halo, Gears of War, Minecraft, all kinds of horror games, shooters, RPGs, and more including live streams. So if you're a gamer and are into the gaming world, then smash that subscribe button over at Unreal Royale and experience the ride with me. I want to thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so very much for your support. And I'll be seeing each and every single one of you 
in the next video. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck, Zarbon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> Kaka.